Hi, I'm here with Carol Mangus, our electronics web editor, to talk about HP's new tablet, the Touchpad. It is the first tablet to run on the WebOS mobile operating system. Carol, tell me, how does it compare to the iPad? Well, to start with, uh, it's a little bit bulkier and heavier than the current generation iPad. Um, it has a very similar shaped screen, though, uh, which is kind of unusual. Other tablets have um, don't have such a squarish screen. Um, the display is not quite as bright as the iPad's display, but um, it is definitely comparable quality. If you have a WebOS phone, you can pair it with the tablet? This is a, yeah, this is a really neat uh, differentiating fe uh, feature. Um, if you have a WebOS phone, what you can do is pair them via Bluetooth, and then uh, a couple things you can you can use a feature called touch to share. You take the phone and just touch it to the tablet, and you can share email and SMS messages and web pages between the devices. Um, and you can also, if you get a call on your phone, you can answer it on the tablet. It'll just go straight to the tablet. What about navigating around on the tablet? With the WebOS, it has a feature called um, uh, the card interface. So when you launch your apps, as many apps as you launch, they all open up in little windows on the screen. And you can um, flip between them. You can shuffle them and stack them. Uh, it's very intuitive and very easy to work with a number of open apps. And then when you want to close the apps, you just slide them off the top of the screen. We did notice that it took a while to launch apps. Um, there were a couple of performance issues. Um, it's just um, I mean, even switching the screen from uh, landscape to portrait orientation took about a second longer than it does with the iPad. Um, this is something that HP may be able to, to work on through firmware updates, hopefully. And how many apps are available right now? This is a big problem for the, for the platform. Um, right now, there are only around 300 tablet-optimized apps for this, for this uh, tablet. Um, there's a little over 6,000 altogether for the uh, WebOS platform. And that means that they are way behind their competitors, uh, Apple and Google. So when it comes to hardware, is there anything that the touchpad's lacking? Yes, um, it's lacking, first of all, a rear-facing camera, which all of its competitors have. So um, you can't take pictures with it. The front-facing camera is video uh, chat only right now. Um, and it also has no memory card slot, so you can't expand the memory. Um, and it is lacking an HDMI port, so you can't stream video out of the device. So what's our bottom line on the touchpad? The bottom line is it's a very promising tablet. It's a promising platform, the WebOS mobile operating system. Um, we really like the navigation on the tablet with the card interface, and uh, the touch-to-share feature is very intriguing. But um, it definitely has to catch up with its competitors. Thank you so much, Carol. Sure. I'm Amber Tentoff for Consumer Reports.